Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Cities Skylines. Today, I am going to continue our awesome city. Well, today's episode is really going to be focused all on highways, highway management, and uh, the future expansion of our city. So today is going to be another episode mainly of highway and road building, which believe me, takes a lot of time. Uh, now, the future of our city is, let's load up the game, episode 18, absolutely. Uh, now, the future of our city is very bright. Of course, I'm going to be uh, going as long as possible, uh, doing it without mods. So I'm going to be filling up all the nine tiles. Yeah, we can ignore that. I should really just remove that um, from being an error that can happen. For whatever reason, I, I still I, I still have that, um, I still have that uh, kept on. Uh, I should really just turn it off because that is just it's just obnoxious at this point. It doesn't really help anyone. We've got all of our zones zoned uh, pretty nicely. Everything is looking good. Now it's I'll talk about the future expansion of our city. Now, of course, once the nine tiles are filled up, I will get the mod that unlocks all 25 tiles and then uh, possibly other mods, other stuff like that. But uh, until that becomes a need, I'm going to want to do this uh, just uh, stock vanilla. Uh, nothing crazy. One of the things I am going to check uh, just before we go is just in budget. Let's see. How much are we spending on stuff? We are spending a lot on parks. Oh, my God. Weekly on parks and plazas is much lower than I thought, uh, which is something. Uh, but uh, weekly healthcare expenses are pretty high and garbage is pretty high. So let's see. Healthcare. Healthcare availability is, like, immense. I can't believe how good our healthcare availability is. We probably need less than that. And uh, incineration status is, like, double of what it would needs to be. So, yeah, I guess I am spending quite a bit on garbage and quite a bit on stuff that I don't need to, but that's just because I don't want to be caught uh, in a situation that I don't want to be. Unbelievably, I really thought that uh, that I would be spending way too much on parks, just based on the fact, like, look at look at how many parks we have. Um, it's kind of crazy, the amount of parks we have. Now, one thing I didn't really realize was uh, that we probably want parks in the industrial park, just so that it, because uh, parks in the industrial park will upgrade uh, some of these, uh, will upgrade some of these buildings. So, that is a thing that I'm interested in doing. What does this cost? This cost uh, a plaza with picnic tables. Of course, people picnic tables at lunch out on the business. That seems like a great plan. So, we're going to place one uh, right there. And we're going to get some picnic tables put down right there, of course, as well. Uh, we may want some kind of park with, with trees. I can't believe these cost so cheap. I mean, these, these are like nothing. In fact, like I always say, you know, people, what do they love doing at lunchtime at work? You know? shooting some b-ball so we're gonna be putting some basketball out there and uh, you know we're gonna be putting some maybe some basketball w where else do people want to shoot some hoops want to shoot some hoops uh right right here there you go people shooting some hoops right there that's gonna make things a whole lot better i'm hoping that uh, it really starts padding out uh, this area with some with some niceness still seeing people over there a little bit mad again i can't believe how cheap these parks are like what is this come on something even smaller something even smaller. What, what's like the smallest park that I can really get? This thing, what is this? Plaza with trees? Okay, you guys want some trees? So we're going to sacrifice our friend down there just so that the people over here have got some trees. They're going to be happier. Uh, these businesses are going to start upgrading. And as you can see, I think, I think it has positively affected uh, some of these. Maybe even if we come over here and say, okay, you guys... You guys want uh, you guys want some trees and stuff like that in, in the background? Will that make you a little bit happier? We can go to park zone. I mean, okay, that hasn't made these people particularly happy, but that's fine. All right, so we're going to do the same because parks are, God, they're nothing. Parks are nothing. So what do people want? Uh, people want a small park. Okay, that's not even, that's not very small. Uh, what is this? 120 picnic tables. Okay, picnic tables and truck stop 69. It even makes sense. I mean... I was here. I was thinking uh, that I was spending way too much on parks. Clearly, parks are not what I'm spending too much on. I'm spending too much on like a billion other things. Are these expensive? Forty-eight dollars per week to run a carousel? Huh. 
God, count me in. I'd buy one from I'd buy one for my house if that was the case. I wouldn't buy a carousel for my house in real life. That would be insane. You would have to really, really be going a bit crazy in real life for you to do that. So there you go. Land values are going up over there in the industrial park. Um, what are we gonna do? Truck stop 69. Land values are going up. Uh, maybe another uh, some basketball. That's always good. Always, I'm always a big fan of the basketball parks. I think those are. You know, some of the best kind of parks that we can have. So, uh, we're not going to place them there. Just just on the inside. But where on the inside is a good question. Come on. Can, is there... There's no... There's really nowhere good. It's great. God. Some of these places are just horrendous. Maybe we can place it, like, right there. All right. Some basketball and more picnic tables. Yeah. It even makes sense thematically that we would have that. So... We go there and we can see, there you go. Now Truck Stop 69 is going to start upgrading. And for very little money, uh, people have just, you know, completely overhauled uh, their stuff. So we're going to Industrial Park. You know, it's a park of industry. Uh, what is our industry area over here? Over there, industry area is not too good. So Industrial Park, uh, just like uh, I think... Uh, we're gonna make it grass. We're gonna make it grass over here on South Island as well because that's a thing that we haven't done And it's a thing that we really should do so there you go We'll make it grass and all of these businesses and houses. They're gonna be so happy. There's gonna be grass Although I'm probably gonna lose a bunch of money immediately from uh, Doing this it's honestly just gonna be for the best because all, all these places even though they're all getting demolished and destroyed like you know they're gonna become really fantastic places in uh in a few moments you know they're gonna they're gonna love the upgrade i'm gonna love the upgrade everyone's just gonna be so happy check this out oh boom boom i really need to get to the meat and potatoes of this episode which is of course the crazy road upgrades for now i just want to add grass to everywhere look at that awesome wow look at this all right so now everyone hopefully if I go look over here, everyone is going to be a little bit happier. Even these people who aren't too happy because they're near a highway. All right, you know, you're still, un you're still unhappy. Let me let me make you happier by placing some of this stuff there. Here, I'll even, right there in the background, right behind uh, right behind the, the unhappy houses, I can place some nice little trees. There you go, some beautiful little trees. Does that make everyone happy? Makes me sure happy. There you go. So, now if I go look here, I can see... Close enough. That is, that really, really is good enough. We even got parks over here on South Island. Good thing I thought about that. Over here, we got parks over there. No parks in the void. Well, it's called the void. That is fine. Okay. So, now that I've solved that, and in fact, that has partially solved uh, demand for stuff as well, I think I am going to park up the void because, really, there's no need for us to have disgusting places anymore. This is a beautiful city with beautiful people, and it's time for change. What? Why are these? Oh, low land values, right? It's because it's because my mix of the of parks and six lane roads that doesn't really matter that it's it's abandoned I can see it which which one of these is abandoned this place operating normally that place that place that place so one of these places is abandoned oh it's this place it's abandoned low density well boom these places they just they they I don't know what they want they live right near beautiful carousel park why did you upgrade. Why did you upgrade if uh, that was going to be the case? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. All right. It is time for that faithful moment. The moment of truth. Checking out traffic. Just a second. Boom. Uh, yeah, things look good. Things are busy in the void, but uh, honestly, really not bad. Intersections are the main idea, and over here, uh, this nonsense... I mean, of course, what can you do? Uh, people, they just, they're just so interested in, in, in getting to, getting to this. We're going to be adding more in the future, so, uh, there's going to be the train yards over here. Maybe we'll even remove this one, turn the train yards really into, uh, into a fixture. Uh, but for now, I think, uh, I think we're good. Okay. Pause the game, and it is time to start our road upgrades. So, we're going to be designing, hold on a second. Mm. Water. The nectar of the gods. No, it's just water. Uh, we're going to be designing our uh, fantastic and innovative uh, advanced clover leaf. 
right over here. Uh, which you can find on the Steam Workshop, but don't download it because you can't place it on any terrain. And it'll apparently give you an error every time you load in uh, to the game. You know, looks like this. Too steep a slope, though, so we can't place it. We've got to build it once again. So that's what is going to be the main focus of this episode. It's going to be building this damn thing. Right. Straight road. So where do we want it? We want it to be closer. over. We want it to be like here. Yeah, something like this. So, make this, make this long, like that. Is that even? That's not even going in the right direction. That's the worst part. Got to watch out for these directions. They that can be that uh, can be a real killer, and can be a real buzz kill, especially if you build yourself a long road, and then realize that you've completely fucked up angles. Oh, that can be so depressing. Okay, now we got this. And then page up, right over here, like this. Boom. So straight forward to there, like that. And you, straight forward to there, like that. Then we just extend this on for a while. And for you, and that for a while. And just extend this for a while. I mean, obviously, that's going to change in not too long. But for now, all we got to do is just have it like this. Look and think, yep, yeah, all right, I am A-OK -okay with that positioning. Then we zoom in and we go one off of there the moment we can. And just go a straight line down there. Boom. Come over here, do the same thing. Straight up. Actually, that was completely the opposite. We go straight down on this side. And again, like I said, sometimes I'm just terrible at uh, doing these things in the right direction. Sometimes I just wish there was a way that you could flip the direction these roads go in. Built into the game. Again, I'm sure there's a mod for that. Uh, but for now, I'm not concentrating on mods. Uh, for now, all I'm doing is figuring... Uh, this stuff out. Okay, so what now? What we want to do now is we want to figure out where we start things off. And the hard one is going from up here to down there. Yeah, it's not. Is or is it here? Is it down there to there, which is relatively easy, or down there to there? They both. They're both pretty much the same thing so we'll go here i think this one is the one that takes the most room so we go like this oh crap all right didn't really want to do that curved road very nice here and we try and figure out this angle first no there you go no go like this slope is too steep Oh, it wants to do some crap like that. Don't, please, don't, don't do that. That is going to be horrendous. We can go like this. No, we can go, no, we can go like that. It just doesn't want to do it, but it wants to do this other horrendous thing. God, I really wish it didn't. Well, I can show you guys, I can show you guys what the game is going to try to do here. Believe me, it's not going to look good, but I can at least try and show you. I would love it if it would accept an angle like this. It wants to do this. Unfortunately, that is likely very similar to the best we're going to get. So, you go like this. Boom. And there you go. You got one wing. Even though it's not that huge. Well, whatever. It's going to have to do, isn't it? So, now we got there. What? Oh, did I build this the wrong way again? I might have built this the wrong way. Okay, good. There's a T there. That's all that matters. Okay, cool. So, uh, then I, I do. you do want to do it like that just so you can sort of get it all planned out. Then you want to go and change it up, which is good. All right, cool. So now you got this thing. There you go. Step number one. That's, that's huge. Really wish it wasn't like that, but unfortunately it is. Okay, so we want to do the exact same thing over here. 
So gonna be oh look at that that's a nice that's a nice smooth angle all right like this and again this one this one can even be huge because uh, the other one is so there you go beautiful that looks similar in size honestly I guess these this one this is gonna be a big old clover leaf just because uh, the uneven terrain here is messing up with us and it's just the, that that's just that's just the nature of the game isn't it all right so uh, we want to go something like page down. So we want to go something like you know, something like that. Something over here, like this. Page down. Yeah, that looks nice. Then we can go like that, and boom. That is a-ok -okay with me even though it's not perfect it will end up looking just fine there like that page down thing like right over here something like right no something ah, right there it looks good boom and there you go beautiful so now we've got uh, now we've got that all set up this one of course, you can try and build these more compact, but you do need flatter land because if you don't have them compact, then things get out of hand really quick. All right, right over here, like this. No, right there. Okay, make it above and go here, like this. Great. Over there, like that, and boom. Very nice. We do the same thing from this perspective. No, want to go there, like this. There you go. That's beautiful. Then we go from here. Same thing, right up there. Page up. To there. Page up to here. Page up to there. There you go, and now the same thing over on this side from here. There you go, page up. Now we just hope that the next part works out, because in uneven terrain, the next part can be just as infuriating. So, there, page up. Alright, we can actually delete some of this, give ourselves a bigger run-up. So, go there, page down there and just make it just poke out very good then go from here page up and come on it's got to be able to fit in here somewhere oh, for fuck's sakes slope too steep slope too steep my ass this is this is one of the big problems that sometimes happens here it's this thing doesn't want to respond. Okay. Well, then let's delete that. Let's go down there. Page down. There. Oh, come on. Don't give me this. Here. Right there. Very good. No. Then. Page up. Oh, yes. Okay. Go there like that. Oh. this and boom okay so now we got this angle so that one was was tough to do those are usually the hardest ones but sometimes you know the angles they just don't really stress out see like this and yeah well okay that was that's a bit wacky but there you go you can go like this and see that that's much simpler you don't need to do as much finagling with one but sometimes on what appears to not even be uneven terrain, it the game can be very very choosy with what it uh, with with uh, what it, what it requires. There, boom. Okay, and this one, you just go like this. Boom! Look at that, beautiful. Now we've got our big old giant advanced clover leaf intersection or interchange. Now it is time to extend this. 
So, of course, we will delete the train tracks like this. And we'll delete this thing. And we are going to head off on a path to where? Do not really know. So, we're going to go... We're going to go straight. I think we might actually just go straight. I think that's going to be a better idea. Not too many... Not too many turns. So straight like this. And then you just got to go here. Go boom. All right. That's good. Then we want to do like a big old swooping turn. So it's going to go something like this. Oh, straight a little bit more. There you go. So we're going to go straight to... Straight to there. Alright, let's do that again. So straight to there means straight to there. Big old swooping turn is coming up now. So we go like this. No, we go something like that. Okay, something like this. That's good. Turn there this no not quite like that quite we're getting close though like this it's a bit far here not far enough there you go that is beautiful again just making sure there's nothing wrong there that's good Okay, so here we go maybe something like this. Something like this. Alright, that looks good to me. Then on this side, we will go all the way down there like that and then over here we'll go all the way from here all the way to there no all the way to no nah, all the way to there Now that's going to be tough. That's that's going to be a tough angle to recreate going the opposite direction. So from there it comes out this way. That's like there. I don't know, maybe it's further, something like No, it's less far, something over here. Something less far. That Pretty close, pretty close. Yeah, I think that's good. Great. Then we go like this. We go like that. Over here, make the line extend. No, make it extend to the, extend to here. God, I forgot where I put the forgot where I did the lines the opposite way, which is gonna be annoying, but that's okay. Gee, that ain't bad right there, like that. That's good. Okay, there's nothing else. It looks like. All right, then we can go here. Delete, delete. Delete, delete. Very nice. Boom. We can go like this. And we can go page down. Extend. And then up here. Boom. Page up. Very good. Same thing on the other side. Let's do that so we zoom in. Delete, 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 delete. We will go here, page down, right there. 
We go there. Page up. Very nice. Then we can come here. Delete all of this. Curved road. With some nice walls. Extend this to perhaps there. Boom. That's nice. And then over here. Extend that to there. Boom. Wow. Look at this. Beautiful highway extending quite far. Now, we'll go into the train section, which is there. Train tracks. And go... Something like... Page up. There you go. Eh, even if it doesn't snap, it's probably fine, so... No curved. This said if it doesn't snap. There. All right, that looks good. So there, like this. There. Like that. That's a nice looking bridge. Then over here, similar sort of thing. We go here and we can go like this. A page up. So here, here, there, down there. There you go, made the nice bridge connection. That is awesome. So now we've got our beautiful highway, which now spreads all the way to there. All we need to do is to get one of these and to go boom. Eh. Actually, yeah, we, we do want to do that. So we'll go like this, something like that over here. No, over here. Like this. Boom. There you go. Look at that. Now we've got our awesome connection there. Got our awesome connection there. And then we've got all of this. Now the real question, and I don't really know the answer to this, is can I run a train in between? No, I can't run a train, obviously, in between this. Although that would be really sweet. Maybe I would have to go, like, above... But if I could run a train line all the way through here, through the middle of it all, would that have any effect? Like, what could I do with that? I mean, that'd be really cool if I could run the train right through the middle here. I mean, it'd look really nice, but other than looking really nice, I don't really know what it would do. But there you go. So that is going to be the general shape of uh, the highway in the future. So the highway is going to go there. Uh, it ended off at uh, this thing over here, which I can at least take, maybe add a little bit of trees, some beautiful little trees, make things a little bit nicer. So there you go, very nice, more little beautiful trees like this, you can go right in between and place those all there, there you go, place them in between, and, oh look at this, this is, this is going to be fabulous. I don't know if I've upgraded the highway to have... Uh, I don't think I've upgraded the highway to actually have sound barriers. Probably should do that. There you go. Like that. Have I... I haven't unlocked all of... Uh, no, I don't think I've unlocked all of the... Um, all of the bonuses that I can. So I should probably get on doing that. Those bonuses, of course, being, uh, I haven't, I don't think I have the last plot of 2x2. Two two. No, I don't. I'm still off. 61k is when that's going to happen. But with, uh, with this uh, very forward-looking highway plan, I think that that may be uh, a thing to come. 
So, let's start upgrading some of this great stuff here. Uh, no, it's out of city limits. Okay, whatever you say so. There you go. Uh, there, there. There, there, there. There. I wish we could just drag this, uh, this upgrade tool. Uh, but it's very clear that you cannot. That's too bad. But doesn't really matter to me as long as I don't hit one of the many, many off ramps that I could. And that would sadly uh, not be very good. Upgrading tool can transform uh, an exiting road to another type. Yeah, can it? I mean, look, why would anyone want to upgrade those? That's very unrealistic. You don't see that in real life, any kind of upgrades like that. I'm not going to click on an exiting road. Or existing, is that what it said? If it says existing, fine. I'm using it to, upg to, to upgrade a road like as we speak. Why would it feel the need to tell me to do that any more than I am doing it now? I'm already doing it. Come on, man. Okay, so I think all of the highway is upgraded. That all the new stuff is fully upgraded. So great, we added in the second highway system. Now this one over here, I don't really know what it's going to do. Maybe we're saving it for when we have 25. And then I can bring it down over this way. Maybe bring it through the mountain. Maybe connect it over here or something. I don't know what I'm saving it for. Uh, maybe do some other crazy stuff. But uh, So this end over here, I don't really know what's going to happen. But something is definitely going to happen over here. Uh, the island is... The island's doing really fantastic. Glad to see that. Over here, in the void, we could... We can definitely afford to have more parks. For the employees of the void, I think it was just uh, bad manners for us not to have them. So where are their trees? No, we want picnic tables. I mean, these guys go out on lunch. These guys and gals, you know, they have lunch times. And I think it's going to be important for them uh, for when they're on lunch to be able to uh, enjoy lunch in in a you know in a place surrounded by uh, maybe a little bit maybe in a nice park I mean definitely in a nice park not just maybe I mean we're adding a park right now as we speak so enjoying lunch in uh, in a park is going to be um, you know a luxury of being uh, of working in the void you know even though these workers may not be the most educated uh, it doesn't mean that they can't have at least certain kinds of uh, human decency, which is why we're adding all of that. I mean, look at this. This costs us $48 a week. $48 a week, seriously? That is, like, that's nothing. That is, that's peanuts for us. So, uh, I should probably play so I can find out, like, what kind of um, an upgrade does this actually cause? Well, there you go. See, everyone was happy there. So, we'll just put our basketball court, like, right there. And that is, that's going to probably be the, the final... Uh, nail in the hammer for these guys No, all right, maybe something right there. There you go another basketball court So now we got basketball courts. We got everything for these guys and that's at least gonna make them a little bit more happy See there you go already upgrades going on there. Uh, that's fantastic uh, We can upgrade the roads here. I mean these guys on the island. They deserve they deserve better roads I mean sure it was fun uh, to have them all zoned, like, uh, zoned with crappy roads. Oh, fudge. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, it was all fun in games to have them zoned with crappy roads, but now that, uh, you know, push comes to shove, probably, uh, a wise plan to actually, uh, upgrade the road in a decently beneficial way for these guys. Because seriously, at this point, come on now. Not even trees or anything like that? That is just, that, that's just rude. All right, there you go. No, we don't want to add any any one ways, no one ways or anything like that, right? This isn't this isn't some kind of crazy one way. No, we don't want to have any one one ways in town. We don't want to have any of those. No one ways in this city. This is not a city of one ways. This is a city where my traffic philosophy reigns. My traffic philosophy says one ways are only convenient when you uh, are creating shortcuts for people. And if you're creating shortcuts for people, then you can use one ways to manage the shortcuts, but you might as well not be creating those shortcuts in the first place. Because when you do, that's when you screw yourself over. You screw yourself over when you're creating, uh, I mean, when you're, you cre you're creating these traffic problems uh, when you're designing the roads. So, 
just don't create the traffic problem when you design the roads and then you won't need to worry about it in the future 64 people have left well oh, that's fine um there you go we can boost that there uh that's still good all right there you go so now people decided to come back into the city uh the roads are back up over here we can see uh lots of happiness how is happiness in the city it is it's wild except for a few people like 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 this person over here why 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 are you unhappy tell me what are you happy low land value do you really have low land value if i go to the parks department i can see your house is very close to a beautiful park would you like some customized trees in your backyard would that make you happier there you go you get some custom trees here Does that make you happier no it doesn't eh is it because you live on a giant intersection yes well you know suck to be you where is the abandoned house here it's there there you go there you go you can fuck off if you're not happy living there on this big giant road then you know there you go you got issues yourself Honestly, if you live in Rogers Field and you're unhappy with your property values, then there I know a place where you can go live. Hell, no, it's not really what I mean. What I actually mean to say is that you can go live somewhere else. But actually, you know, if the, it is residential, so maybe it's a smart idea to uh, zone the, the, the big road here uh, that goes through the middle um, just as some... Um, there you go. Oh, wow, I already I had a remnant of a four-lane road. Ha! I'm glad I changed that. So there you go. On curves, it just really messes with everything. But there you go. We'll add we'll add some nice grass to this one. At least that'll make things a, a little bit better. There you go. Beautiful grass right down on this main road. Considering the very least it goes through a big neighborhood like this. So we should at least do that. Maybe, maybe that'll get these people to calm down a little bit about uh, about all their stuff. But as you can see, I mean, just a, just the view from out over here in uh, in Rogers Field, over at uh, Dover City, over at the island, over at uh, Riverside, is really nice. And over here we got the train crossing over there. It goes on. It goes over under uh, this road, then it goes over the highway here. We got this beautiful interchange, which people aren't using because they have absolutely no reason to. Um, other than if somehow, somehow someone continues, because like there's nothing over here. There's there's nothing down here for anyone. Uh, we can go like that. We can see there's a ton of water available. Power is still uh, incredible. Might actually do something about power um, eventually. Also, considering we get this piece of land, maybe creating some kind of scenic route would be would be quite nice. I'm considering creating some kind of nice little scenic route or scenic area over here and then having this be like a secretive road. We'll go here along the train tracks and maybe follow that up into uh, up into the hills or something along those lines. We can go and click on world and we can see it's going to go up to here. So having having that be well, it's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit tricky, but okay. We get monuments. We already have an airport. Actually, I know where I want to place the airport. I want to place the airport here on this island. I think that would be very cool. Here's one of the things we can do. Public transport. Uh, that is going to be a good idea. So buses. Uh, let's go check out. Is that buses? Where are bus lines? Okay. So we do not have a mid. We do not have one here in uh, this middle land. So let's create the bus line. Uh, no. There. Uh, let's create it from right outside there, and we're going to go, excuse me, does this, can we, ah, okay, we're going to go right down there, right down there, we're going to go over there, oh, come on, no, over here, oh, we're going to pause while we do this, just because uh, we don't want to get our people, you know, excited for a, f a change in the city, and then saddened by the crushing blow uh, that will inevitably de uh, be dealt when um, when I decide to remove uh, their favorite little uh, bus stop. So we can go. Oh, come on. Go there, and there. Thing like here. Like there. 
There. Alright, go down there. Go down there. Go down here. There. There. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, no connection there, so I should probably go out this way. Like that. Okay, no. Am I, I'm not playing. Come on, don't don't be mad at me. Okay, fine. We're not going to go there. All right, these people, you know, they get a little bit more sad than they need to be. They're a little bit dramatic. That's okay with me. There you go. There you go. There you go. Boom. Okay, so now we've got our midline transit, which is very nice. Um, then what we can do is we can take one bus and make it go from here. Oops, no. Make it go from here to there to there to there to here. All the way through the middle of the island. All the way back. And I think that is going to be at least semi-beneficial for everyone. Because then... There you go. Look at that. So now we've got a beautiful uh, on the island there. That's really good. All we really need to do is maybe add... So we got this line. We got that line. We got a third line there. Uh, tourists, a few. Is there a way for us to for us to see? I can't. Okay, I can't click on the line. I can click on buses. I click on transport. Is there like another menu? No, there doesn't seem to be anything else. Population, outside connections, money, land value. Okay, high land value, medium land value, uh, low, okay, so that's, that's okay. So I guess the, there's like some hot and cold spots over here. Dover City seems to have a lot of very hot spots, which is nice. Pretty hot spots in that area too. Uh, wind, which is bizarre. Uh, legend, oh yeah, that's right, that's for that. Noise pollution, yeah, I know, there's going to be a lot of it. Crime. Crime rate is very low, which is good. Transport, yeah, I understand public transportation is good. I'm just wondering if there is a way, money, uh, districts, yeah, I understand the idea of district. Well-informed and leisure, okay. Uh, leisure, uh, parks and plazas, high, okay, so there's a lot of, great, there's a lot of leisure to do everywhere around. The people are quite happy in my city. One thing I'm just wondering is, is there anything I can do about public transport? What is, what the hell is this thing even? Outside connection, exports, tourism. I would just like to see, I would, okay. The happiness, office happiness, very high. Commercial happiness is not the greatest, but it is quite high. The people who are sad are the people who are sad in the city, likely commercial. And that's mostly because, well, I don't know, probably because they can't get any goods because this thing is so blocked up or something. But industrial is very happy. I just wish there was a way to see demand in a little bit of a better, a little bit of a better way, because this menu that sure doesn't help. And this, I have no idea really what this is. Average zone level, well, industrial at least is going up, uh, but there's no there's no clear you know, there's no clear uh, benefit there. All right, well, I can play it out and see maybe my bus line uh, is going to help, although I kind of doubt it. A lot of people there, numbers are fluctuating up and down. Well, there you go, fantastic. We can add maybe 
another metro line to Riverside Bay and maybe Rogers Field, get that stuff connected. West Point, we're going to need to obviously do some kind of an overhaul of that pretty soon. Uh, but for now, it's not the case. This episode, we've added uh, in the big highway. We added in some bus stops and just took a sort of an overview of our city. I'm going to say that I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I'm going to see you guys next time when, oh boy, a lot uh, more cool stuff is going to happen. Uh, there you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one. Bye.